Hi everybody, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from MissMelindasMetaphysicalServices.com. I want to talk to you in this video about intuitive tarot readings. I've had people ask me the question, why do I call my tarot readings psychic readings? Um, I think, first of all, it's important for me to mention that I do offer a variety of readings. All of my readings are not necessarily tarot readings. There are other ways that I perform both divination and psychic readings. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out my services at MissMelindasMetaphysicalServices.com. Um, but right now I'm just going to talk about intuitive tarot readings. And that, uh, the, the title there, the name of the reading that I just mentioned is already gives you the answer of why I call my tarot readings psychic readings. Because they are intuitive readings, they are not um, simply a basic tarot reading. A basic tarot reading would be memorizing the meanings of the cards according to a book definition or a historical definition and then laying the cards out in a specific pattern, also according to a historical um, diagram or a book diagram, and then just simply interpreting the reading based on those memorized definitions and those memorized card placements. Um, that is not the method that I use for tarot reading. There's nothing wrong with that method, but that is not the method that I use. Um, in an intuitive method, it's much more fluid. I First of all, I don't always use um, a specific spread. I don't have things laid out like that. So when you use a specific spread, then your card placements have a specific meaning. That's not how I read. Um, I just... I. It's a very intuitive process, it's hard to explain, but I basically um, pull the cards out the way that they want to come out and I lay them out in a line in front of me and um, I read in that way. So I'm glancing at my notes here so that I can be thorough in my explanation for you. Um, a tarot reading is not inherently a psychic reading, of course. But when I am reading the tarot cards, I'm not just reading their historic definitions or interpretations. There are several different ways that I use tarot. So I'm just going to go over um, some of the ways that I implement my psychic gifts or my spiritual connection into my tarot readings. And the one of the ways is I channel spiritual guidance. And the way that I channel spiritual guidance is through my body. Um, that's just one of the ways that my spiritual gifts work. So I channel guidance through my body um, just by opening my body up. And this is a, a method that I have developed for myself that I've learned over time through practice. Um, I open my body up to spiritual guidance and I channel the energy through my body. I then use the cards as a way, as a focal point to help me interpret the guidance that I am receiving. Um, and this, right now, mostly what I'm talking about is when I do phone readings. I do a lot of phone readings. Um, so the cards then become a visual symbol that represents the messages that I'm receiving. So I focus on the cards and use that as a way of interpreting the energy that I'm receiving through me. And the reason that this works well for phone readings is because in a phone reading, I need to be a little bit quicker in, than I would be maybe in another setting. So that's something that I've specifically developed when I've got someone on the phone and then when they want quick, simple, straightforward answers, um, that's something that I do. So an intuitive interpretation interpretation of the cards, it, right, interpreting the cards in, a, in an intuitive way means that not only that I'm not following a book definition, but also that I'm letting the spiritual connection flow through me. I'm focusing on an image, and I'm, I just start talking about that image and interpreting what I see in that image, but it's not just about the image. It's about the information that's flowing through me. And this is this is a technique for channeling. 
as I'm talking, the, the information comes out. If I am able to let go and just let guidance flow through me and be led by that guidance, then the correct information is just going to come out of me. So the card is a way that I can focus and kind of zone out and let the information come through me. And I guess the aspect that I'm really trying to emphasize right now is the, the speaking part. I, I start by describing the image, but as I am talking about and describing that image, other guidance, other information starts to come out of me. I start to form a clear picture, a clear um, idea. I start to get the answers that my client needs. I start to see a fuller picture. And it's not, um, it, it's not about me forming that idea in my mind. It's about me letting that come out of myself and letting, letting my body be a vessel for that guidance, for that information, and using my voice, using my words as a way to give that information, to paint that picture for my client. Um, another way that I use my spiritual gifts when I'm doing an intuitive tarot reading is I don't just use the tarot cards. That's not the only thing there. Um, I'm also just sometimes using my gifts by myself, such as my psychic feeling. Um, I am, I do have empathic abilities as well as um, psychic feeling, or um, you can distinguish it also by being a sensitive versus being an empath. They are two different things. I do have both of those abilities. So I, I use both of those at times during a, a intuitive reading. Um, one of the ways that it can come through is I can actually feel the emotions of um, not necessarily my client, but oftentimes my client wants to know uh, the, the motivations or the feelings of someone else in their life. Maybe they're trying to understand a relationship. Maybe they're trying to understand a specific situation in their work life or in their family life. And in that situation, when I am tuning into a third party, I can often feel the emotions or the feelings surrounding the relationship with that third party, right? So um, if it's a tense situation, I may feel stress, anxiety, and that is one way that I am able to... Um, to give them some insight into those relationships and into that situation. Another way is by tuning into my um, intuitive knowing or my sensitivity. And in that way, I know if they ask me a question, I can tune into my feelings and I can know um, the answer to that question based on how my body feels. Or I can know um, which would be a more if, for example, if they're asking me about two different choices, I can know based on the way my body feels which would be a more positive or a more negative choice, um, things of that nature. And then uh, I also at times use a pendulum in my intuitive readings. And when you are using a pendulum, you are actually um, very directly using spiritual guidance. It is not me that is moving the pendulum. I keep very still. The pendulum moves, uh, apparently it appears that it moves on its own. It is my belief that is, it is actually um, a spiritual energy that is moving that pendulum. So that is a, another way that I, I um, use my abilities or my spiritual connection in an intuitive reading. Um, one other way and this is something that I've just been thinking a lot about lately. This is something I do mostly um, in web readings, and it's automatic writing. So this is a really old method of channeling spiritual guidance, and it's where you start writing. It's very much like the, the method that I was describing earlier of channeling spiritual guidance, but rather than letting the guidance come through my voice, I'm letting the guidance come through my hand. Um, and I'll be honest with you, this kind of stuff is always a journey. It's always a, um, a journey of learning. So I'm constantly learning and constantly growing. And one of the things that I've become aware of in the last year or so is the fact that I'm doing automatic writing. Um, 
So when I do a web reading, this often comes into play. And I'll, I'll do the reading like I usually do. Pull the cards, etc. I'll look at the meanings of the cards. I'll interpret the meanings of the cards on my own. I'll start, I'll write a basic sentence about what that card means, what it means in the context of my client's question or my client's situation. And then my last step is I just start writing. I just start elaborating on that. And I let go of myself. I, um, I, I let go and I let guidance flow through me and I often write things that I didn't, I'm not thinking about these things I'm writing. It's just as I was describing earlier, they just flow through me and I usually am able to um, paint a picture of the situation that I wouldn't normally be able to. I'm able to go much more in depth in a reading when I'm able to let go and do things automatically. Um, and I'm also able to gain a lot more insight into my clients' um, situations and offer them spiritual guidance that I wouldn't necessarily be able to offer them on my own. Um, it's not that I don't have that wisdom or that knowledge. It's that I may not know exactly what the guidance is that they need pertaining to their situation because I don't have a clear picture of their situation. So I'm... I mean, I don't, you know, I don't know all about them and their lives. I only know what they've told me. So that's why it's really helpful to be able to tune in and to get some higher level spiritual guidance for people and offer it to them through that automatic writing, um, which is a really interesting and fun way to turn into spiritual guidance. It's something that I would encourage all of you to do some more research about and maybe to do some practicing on your own. So... Those are some ways that I use my spiritual gifts and my spiritual connection in intuitive readings. And those are some examples of why I call my tarot readings intuitive readings or psychic readings. So thanks for tuning in today. I appreciate you watching. If you have questions about any of this information or you'd like me to elaborate on anything that I've mentioned in any of my videos, or even if you just have a suggestion for a future video, then feel free to contact me at any of the links that I've listed below. I'm very easy to get in touch with. I'm very friendly. I love talking to new people. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.